the traditional nutritional approach for footballers has always been high carbohydrate, but of course we're now in the era where we recognise that protein is critical for training adaptations. So obviously nutrition is really important between finishing the training session and then starting the subsequent session. You know, we want the players to take in quality protein to recover from the training that they've just done and then also provide an adaptation for the training that they're going to do. If players have done a hard training session, then we'll use the Science in Sport Rego to provide a good quality carbohydrate and protein source for the players. We use the protein bars, which the players can take with them, you know, on that walk from the dressing room into the gym. And I also really like the, the Way 20. It's a quality protein source. It's real convenient for the guys just to pick up, walk out to the dressing room and start the next session. Protein is important after the pitch-based training because there's a lot of eccentric loads, a lot of change of direction. So yeah, it's um, critical that they get those proteins in and repair afterwards. Protein is not only going to be important for that repair, but also for growing new muscle. Um, if we've got players that are trying to grow and develop physically, especially in the academies and with the younger players. And even uh, in pre-season, we'll have players that are losing weight, but we often increase the protein there just to protect that lean mass and uh, make sure that they're not losing muscle whilst they're losing body fat. Every player's got a bespoke programme that they're following in the gym and every player's got a plan that they're going to work to outside. You know, the bespoke programming has to be supported by appropriate nutritional interventions. So, you know, for some of our players, are they looking to try and increase lean mass? Are they looking to try and reduce fat mass? Are they an injured player that is looking to try and do both at the same time? When our players are injured, we focus on upping their protein a little bit and then reduce the carbs a little, but making sure they've got that protein there to repair and build new tissue. As soon as you do come back from that injury, you've got to be ready to get back on the pitch and train. And if you come back carrying extra weight, then that could be massively detrimental to your return.